seven boys and girls of St Marnox. I want to wish you the very best of luck for S1. I'm sorry we never got to Belfast or to Lockerbie, but I'm sure you'll have new experiences looking forward to in S1. I want you to be the best you can be and always be proud you came from St Marnox. God bless. Hello young people. I am very, very proud to have been part of your Primary 7 life at all. I think you are terrific people. I am so proud of the way that you have coped with this very, very strange year. And I'm so sorry that you missed out on all of the brilliant things that you should have had as Primary 7s. I am absolutely sure that you will make your parents and your teachers and the school really proud of your achievements when you go into S1. And I really hope you have a lovely holiday and you have time to chill out and do things that you enjoy and that you eventually get to see your friends. If you were one of the amazing children that worked with me in the writing group, I just want to say thank you very much. It was a privilege to work with you and I really hope you learned some things that you'll be able to take with you into S1. And it was great fun and you made me laugh and I enjoyed every single minute of it. So, Primary 7's the very best of luck and I will really, really miss you. And St Marnox will miss you too. Best of luck. Bye. Hi Primary 7, I hope you are all well and keeping safe. Just wanted to send you a message to say good luck for the future. Don't be strangers, come and visit us whenever you can. We can't wait to catch up and hear how you're getting on in high school. Good luck, see you soon. Bye. I hope you all have a fantastic summer. Good luck when you get to high school. I know St Barnix will definitely miss you all and I hope some of you will keep up the netball skills that you have learned with me. just like to thank you all for your help and support and I'm sure the primary ones are going to miss their buddies so much. We would like to wish you a fantastic journey through high school with all amazing individuals are going to turn into fine young adults. Be happy, be safe, we're going to miss you all. Hi Primary 7, I just wanted to wish you the best of luck for high school. I am going to miss you guys so much. When I first started in St Martin, which was the first class that I worked with, you were in Primary 5. And then I worked with you again in playing the six and you are just so funny, you used to make me laugh all day and you are so hard working. You should be so proud of what you have achieved and you are more than ready for high school. I will never forget the crazy football pitch tantrums but it just shows you how passionate you are about football and I love that. I wish you nothing but love, luck, happiness and all good wishes for the future. Love, Miss Hazlitt. Goodbye and good luck primary sevens. Primary 7 soon to be first years. How did that happen? I remember only too well your first day in Primary 1 when you were this size and your school bags were practically bigger than you. I sent Miss Dini some photos of you in Primary 1 and it brought back some lovely fond memories. I can remember we played the three bag game where you would put the eye mask on and you would go into the bag and choose an item beginning with that side. And then, of course, we sang the Jolly Phonics songs and um, actions. You can also remember Pass Kid of the Week. And Pass Kid of the Week's job was to look after Little Bunny. So, I've taught some of you in Primary 4 also. And memories of Primary 4 are the times when we had PE. Very, very competitive and great team spirit. So, I want to wish you good luck in high school, aim high, do your very best, and remember to come back and visit. Good luck. Hi Primary 7, hope you're all doing really well. Now this isn't quite the goodbye that we'd hoped for, but I'm sure you'll come back and visit us one day and we can say goodbye properly. 
Now Miss Dini was asking me if I had any memories of some of the primary sevens and for some of you I was your primary one and primary two teacher so I've got a lot of memories and I've got a lot of stories, some I won't tell on here because it'll probably embarrass you but one of my favourite memories and it was when some of you were in primary two and I was your teacher and it was a wet play and the bell had gone, all of the teachers were coming downstairs and Mrs Fawcett was standing in the gym hall and she was shouting at the teachers, hurry up and get back to your classes, the whole school's going nuts, everyone's mental and she turned to me and said, and your class is the worst. I remember thinking, oh my gosh, I'm always going on about how great my class are and they're the best in the school. So I ran down the ramp expecting all of you to be swinging from the lights but actually Mrs Fawcett and Mrs Martin were just winding me up and my class were sitting in the dark with two little electric candles turned on and you were all saying your prayers. You were all kneeling round the altar, praying. And one of you, I won't say who, was standing at the front reading the Bible to the rest of the class and you were absolutely silent and the rest of the school were just going mental. And I came in and asked you what you were doing and you said, oh, we just wanted to spend our wet place in our prayers. And it was the funniest moment but also one of my proudest moments in teaching. Um, some of the teachers still slag me to this day that I had the holy class. But I always think back to that and it just makes me laugh so much. But there were some times that you gave me a bit of a hard time as well. I remember trying to teach you a hymn and my singing was so bad, Mrs McMillan had to come in and sing it for you and then you all realised that I just couldn't sing. So Mrs McMillan still slags me for being a bad singer. And there was another time I put fake tan on and came into school and one of you asked me why I'd painted my legs orange and another one said, no, she just forgot to rub in her fake tan. She doesn't know how to do it. So yeah, you gave me a bit of a hard time sometimes, but I was, I just, I love being your teacher in primary one and primary two. And then for the new children that have joined over the years, you've just slotted into the primary seven class. You've just worked really well. And it was lovely to meet some of the new pupils when I came back to school in January. Um, I'm so proud of all of you from primary one right through to primary seven. I've watched you all grow and change and I'm just so proud of the young people you've become. And I know you're going to smash it at high school. You'll be amazing. So hopefully this isn't goodbye. Hopefully it's just I'll catch you later and I hope you all have a lovely summer. See you soon. Hi guys, I can't believe you're primary seven already and you're just about to embark on your journey up to high school. Seems like two minutes ago you were running about my primary three classroom. I hope you do really well as you head up to high school and embrace all the opportunities that are given to you. Best of luck to your future. Lots of love, Mrs Smart. Hi boys and girls, Mrs Green here. Just wanted to say that I can't believe that you've been off to secondary school already. We're getting so big obviously. I do miss you all and I would like to wish you all the very best for when you go to secondary school, whether it be St Paul's, Lures or any other school, I know that you will love it. Just make sure that you take every opportunity that's given to you so you don't have any regrets when you leave there either. I know that you'll be sad when you leave St Marmot's but you will always feel part of the St Marmot's family so I know that's how I feel. Um, it's not under the best circumstances that you're leaving, I know lots of things have been cancelled, you won't have been able to go, um, different trips and see and do lots of these fun things that you would normally do but I'm sure you'll make up for it when the time comes. So for just now, stay safe, have fun, and all the best. See you later. Hi Primary 7, I hope you're all well. I just want to wish you the best of luck moving up into high school this year. Uh, it's been so lovely to watch you grow since Primary 4, my first day in St Marnox when I came into Mrs McMullen's class, and then having you um, in Primary 5 on my own was fantastic, and I've got so many lovely memories from those times, so thank you. and dancers as well the past two years you've been amazing you've done yourself proud and you kept me going as well so thank you for that take care and all the best hi primary seven i can't believe that i am recording this video as a goodbye to you all it seems unbelievable that we've not been able to spend our year together in class and um, for as long as we should have and i'm really disappointed that we weren't able to finish off properly like we should have because you all deserve such an amazing send-off. The primary sevens from my class, it has been an absolute pleasure to be your teacher this year. You were fun, you were engaged, you worked really hard, we got some amazing work done, we did some really amazing projects together and it was really lovely to see you grow 
as pupils and as people over the course of the year. Um, also to the primary sevens that aren't in my class this year, but that I had last year in primary six. You were a joy to teach and I'm really sad and disappointed that we weren't able to finish our time in St. Marnock's together. Um, we Day together was such a brilliant opportunity and it really allowed me and Miss Dini to see what all of you were like as people beyond just students and it was really a pleasure to see and it's really disappointing that that wasn't able, we weren't able to do any more of that. Our trip to Belfast and Lockerbie, but not, we shouldn't focus on the negatives. We had an amazing year together. It's been fantastic seeing you on Google Classroom and seeing your videos and everything like that, which has been amazing. I know you're all really, really excited for the transition to high school. And I really hope that when you go to high school, you don't forget about us, come back, visit me. And um, I'm really interested to hear how you're getting along and how you're getting on because I know you're all going to do absolutely fantastically and I can't wait to hear all about it. Hi Primary 7, I hope you had a wonderful time looking through all of those wonderful memories from your seven years in St Marnock's Primary School. Now, I know there have been ups and downs all the way through primary school and it will feel as though it's a little bit of a downtime just now. I know it's not the end to primary school that you thought you were going to have, but that's why I thought it was very, very important that you could see all of these memories and cling on to all of those really positive moments you had from school. And all those memories from the teachers that you've just heard as well, it just made me laugh so much when I was getting them through and putting them together in this special video for all of you. So I hope that you will keep this video and keep these memories and keep these pictures and treasure them as really, really positive times from school because you deserve that. You absolutely deserve that. You are wonderful, wonderful people and you just deserve the best. And I just hope that at least this would make some way, some way forward to giving you something for you to remember of primary school and of primary seven. Now, I know that this hasn't ended the way that we were expecting primary seven to end, and I am really, really upset about that. And I'm really upset as well that we didn't get to Lockerbie and we didn't get to Belfast and we didn't get to do all of our end of year primary seven show. But, as I always tell you, you can look at the positives. There will always be positives in that and you need to look at those positives. Now, we did get to Wee Day, and during that time at Wee Day, you were so, so lucky to hear from all those amazing speakers and to give you that confidence to move forward and realise just how fortunate you really, really are. Now, it has been an absolute pleasure to teach you, and I've had some of my favourite memories um, this year with you from seeing you all playing Twister in the open area and falling over one another, and me included, falling over the top of you, to your confirmation and to see how in awe the Archbishop was of all of your letters and how he commended them and told us that they were so special. And even just from, from your confidence and literacy and numeracy growing and developing and all those wonderful number talks that we had done and all of the times that you came up and you were leading the learning as well. Now also, I've got funny memories, like when Francis got the soap on top of his head, I'll never forget. I mean, I've had so many times where I've just, you've just made me laugh so much. I've just literally stood there in the primary seven classroom and laughed. And people often ask, why, why do you like teaching primary seven so much? And I think it's, it's the engagement, it's you, it's all of you really, really wonderful young people that make it worthwhile. And it's how funny you can make things from listening to um, GBX songs during our work and um, to having the radio on to just having fun because learning needs to be fun and I hope that you've had times this year that you can look back on with positivity and say you know what that was really fun and I enjoyed that too. Now we did get to go to Wee Day as I said and it was really really good to see you all in that environment away from school and that was crucial for me to see that. Now I did also see you and you with me with a lot of sleep deprivation but you were still so kind, so wonderful to one another and even memories from the school show with Lee Band coming forward and having the confidence and just making the whole audience erupt with your enthusiasm. 
So you're just an absolutely wonderful bunch. To go on to the fundraising for Crazy Hair Day and the big breakfast that we had, you were leaders in that and led the whole school forward. To even our class job system and the buddying for the primary ones. They absolutely needed you and you did a fantastic job with them. Now, we had some fun going to secondary school and you participated in rugby sessions and some of you went and joined in athletic sessions and winning medals. It was amazing this year and even creating your adverts for the likes of the duster pen or the sweet dreams, baby camera. I will never forget them. I will treasure those memories always. Now, sometimes you would make me fall down, quite literally, I would just fall down in the middle of the class with shock and you would all gather around me and say, what, what happened? And I would just say, I'm so shocked, I'm so amazed, you've done so well. And it really is a testament to all of you because you are absolutely amazing. From memories as well of my alarm going off because I'm always so forgetful and you would all sing along to whatever song was playing that day. Now, I hope you take all of these memories and you'll have all your own special memories from primary school as well and put them together and stay positive. You really have to stay positive. Now, you need to take all the skills that you've used from, you've learned rather at St Marnett's Primary School and use them going forward in secondary school. And my advice to you for this next stage of your life is to be confident. Be curious, ask questions, learn things and take every opportunity. Ensure that you make new friends but hold on to the ones that you already have and treat them with the respect and the kindness that I've seen of you. And I want you to continue to be heartwarming, caring and showing love towards others. Stay positive boys and girls, you have done an immense job. You even sent me a video during lockdown to say about staying positive and I'm now sharing that with you. You are inspirational, you are the future and I 100% believe in every single one of you. And it's not goodbye, it's just a see you later. And that's very, very important. I hope you come back. I hope you come back to the Primary 7 door and we can share stories and how are you getting on at secondary school and you'll be able to tell me how wonderful it is. I hope that you will come back and fill me with all of your new knowledge that you've learned. So boys and girls, it's not goodbye. It is just a see you later. And I hope that I will see you later. So I want you all to take care, stay safe, but most importantly, stay positive. You can do it. You are amazing. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You have been absolutely amazing. Well done to you. Thank you. Hi P7s, remember me? This is a message to wish you all the best of luck from your old Johnny. So keep your head down and do yourself proud.